Hello everyone. Uh, this video is about transamination, and here I am going to discuss about what is transamination, the mechanism of transamination, and the enzymes required in the transamination, and also the coenzymes. Now, first, the transamination can be defined as the transfer of amino group from an amino acid to a keto acid. which results in the formation of a new amino acid and a new keto acid is known as transamination so in this mechanism the transfer of amino group happens now we'll see how this transfer of amino group happens so the amino group is transferred from the amino acid to a keto acid so that the amino acid which transferred the amino group is now converted into a keto acid and the keto acid which is accepting the amino group is converted into a amino acid so simply the transfer of amino group happens here but not the release of the amino group and the coenzyme which is required in this transamination is pyridoxal phosphate so this pyridoxal phosphate helps in the transfer of this amino group from the amino acid to keto acid so this is not possible without the pyridoxal phosphate now coming to the significance of transamination so transamination is involved in the synthesis of non essential amino acids so what do you mean by non essential amino acids so there are some amino acids our body can synthesize no need to take them in the diet so those amino acids are called as non essential amino acids examples of the non essential amino acids are aspartate glutamate and alanine in this picture you can see that aspartate which is an amino acid it is transferring its amino group to a keto acid that is alpha ketoglutarate so when this happens aspartate is converted into a new keto acid that is oxaloacetate and alpha ketoglutarate after accepting the amino group is converted into glutamate another example of non essential amino acid which is synthesized by transamination is alanine and this can be synthesized from pyruvate and glutamate by the action of enzyme alanine transaminase so this is the mechanism of transamination with examples catalyzed by alt and ast and these two enzymes they catalyze the reversible reactions and next one so this transamination is also involved in the interconversion of amino acids so depending on the cellular requirements amino acids can be interconverted that means alanine and alpha ketoglutaric acid can be converted into pyruvate plus glutamate same way glutamate plus pyruvate can be converted into alpha keto acid and alanine and the other one is in the catabolism of amino acids so whatever proteins that we take in the diet after digestion they are converted into the amino acids so those amino acids when they enter into a cell cell utilizes those amino acids so that is during their catabolism of amino acids first thing is the amino group should be removed from the amino acids but that removal requires two mechanisms the first one is transamination the other one is the deamination so in this way transamination is the first step in the catabolism of amino acids and this transamination not only involves the alpha amino group so there are amino groups which are present at the different positions for example the delta amino group is also removed in case of ornithine so that amino group can be transaminated examples of transaminases are alt and ast alt is alanine transaminase ast is aspartate transaminase so the other name for these transaminases is they are also known as amino transferases so because they are involved in the transfer of amino group now coming to the significance of these two transaminases 
so alt and ast these are known as uh, liver markers in the liver function tests normally these two enzymes are estimated and ast is known as cardiac marker in case of myocardial infarction uh, this one is estimated now coming to the exceptions of the transamination so there are some amino acids which are not subjected to transamination the amino group cannot be removed by this mechanism so those are lysine threonine proline and hydroxyproline thank you for watching this video please like it and subscribe to my channel